Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over a few things you can do to get ready for the next patch for Lost Ark. So on Thursday the 24th with the weekly reset, we will be getting a new patch for Lost Ark that adds in a bunch of new stuff, mainly new ways to get a ton of honing materials and a little bit of new content. And I went over all this stuff in one of my recent videos if you want to check that out. But the main things we're getting is the first PvP season, which also adds in the PvP vendor, which will have a ton of honing materials we can buy from that we will be getting a new guardian raid event that also has its own new vendor as a new way to get a ton of additional honing materials for any tier you want they will be adding new honing upgrade material to the pre-existing grand pre event so that vendor will have new stuff on it and i think they mentioned they're going to be adding gold into one of these events so not specifically sure how they're going to be doing that then we're also going to be getting a gift but we're getting a new really cool pet a new hoverboard and a selection of a full skin set and these are pretty rare items that are kind of more of the meme skins so with all of that new stuff coming, I think there's a few things you can do to get ready for it. So the first thing is if you're somebody that's been selling your materials, or even if you're someone that's not been selling your materials and you want to make some gold, I would recommend selling your materials right now. All the honing materials have been going down in price, which is just natural as more people get into the higher tiers, more people are going to be selling materials. As more people get gold, the materials are going to get cheaper in general. And this has also been sped up because of the issue with bots and them just bot farming ridiculous amounts of resources they are now going into chaos dungeons to get those materials so they're going to keep going down and with this new massive infusion of materials at the start of the week prices are just going to absolutely tank on pretty much all the upgrade materials so i'd recommend selling them right now and then i wouldn't even think about selling materials again until later on into that week to see if they go up a little bit and stabilize a bit more and another thing you can do to get ready is to start doing pvp matches right now now even though we don't have the pvp vendor currently in the game that will be coming with the update as well you're still able to earn the currency you spend at that pvp vendor just playing normal matches of pvp and i'm not sure if this is just something that's going to be specific to our region or if this is going to change when the pvp season launches but just playing matches right now you get a ridiculous amount of resources normally you get 60 on a loss and 120 on a win and i think that's specifically for team deathmatch but that is a lot of materials when comparing to how much the other regions get because in the seasons on the other regions you only get a few of this currency every game you play when the season is active and usually how you get a lot of your pvp coins is at the end of the week you get a big chunk depending on what rank you are and how many games you played but right now you can just get a ridiculous amount of coins just by playing normal matches and if the prices stay the same on the vendor in our region as they are to other regions you're going to be able to buy so much of this vendor just by playing normal normal matches right now. And I also did a video on this if you want a little bit more of the specifics of what's going to be on that vendor, what the prices are in other regions and stuff like that. Now the third thing isn't actually a tip to get ready for this patch, but something you're going to want to do when the patch hits, and that's select the correct skins. So with the gift we're going to be getting, we can choose one pet, one mount, and one skin set. And the pets and the mounts can match each other, and they're all animated, they have cool effects on them. Like one legitimately just looks like some RGB lights. They're all Makoko inspired stuff with these effects on them. So I'd recommend looking up the looks of these because they're all animated. And personally, I want ones that are matching. So I'd recommend looking up the ones that are actually matching. And because also later down the line, they're most likely going to be giving us or allowing us to earn other Coco skin sets that match these pets and mounts because in the other regions they've gotten these skin sets before that are a Makoko skin set that is animated and then recently the other regions also got this gift that we're getting and then they got the pets and the mounts that match with those so keep that in mind that most likely down the road you have a mount a pet and a full skin set that match and are animated and look pretty cool now the skin sets we get to choose from with this gift don't necessarily match this they're not the animated ones you could get colors that match it but I would definitely recommend getting matching pets and mounts because these pets, mounts, and skins are actually much more rare than I think a lot of people realize. Pretty much in all the other regions, these type of more meme or less serious cosmetics aren't able to be bought on the store. They're not able to be bought and sold to other players. They're usually just like one-time, very rare items. So make sure you choose 
use wisely. Because as we all know, cosmetics are the real end game. But that's pretty much all I want to go over for this video. Just a few easy tips if you want to be more ready for when this patch is released. I think this is going to be a pretty big change in the amount of general materials in the economy. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot more people getting into tier 3 this week. And a lot more people getting up to 1370 and beyond this week as well. But that's pretty much all I want to go over. So subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about these few tips and the new patch. And thanks for watching.